We're just going to start this one. It's called 0% Sportsmanship. With stakes being high at sporting events, sometimes athletes' emotions get the best out of them, or they simply don't take into consideration the way they're acting. In a blowout, which means when one team is winning by a lot, there's an unwritten rule in the NBA to not show off or embarrass the other team. Rookie oh. Jordan Bell seemed to not get the memo, and did an incredible alley-oop to himself off the backboard, and his teammates' reactions were priceless. He makes it like it. Steph Curry's face. Cord makes a lot of noise. <laughs> steps like a completely strange and unnecessary moment happened when one of the footballers was very frustrated with the player in charge of defending him and started doing some strange karate chops. I'm not referring to this clip specifically because maybe the karate chops hurt. I don't know. But sometimes football players are a bit too overdramatic for me. And I understand the manipulation tactic of trying to get the ref to call a foul or trying to get the ref to see the foul, but... I don't know. <laughs> after baseball player Lloyd McClendon got ejected after a close call, he walked off with the first base. Lou Pinella, and he's walking away with the first... A double unsportsmanlike moment happened when Andre Drummond felt disrespected after Daniel Gafford taunted him, and he proceeded to sort of lightly hit him with the ball. And well, he got ejected from the game. Sidney Crosby annoyed his opponent after he complained to the ref. This man boasts the fastest punch on earth that cannot even be registered by cameras for you TV. You see what I mean? <laughs> that was the perfect example. Even though golf is known to reduce stress and anxiety, this clip would make you think otherwise. That's actually very relatable. If you're having a bad game and you're hitting it out of the bunker, it is frustrating. After a foul was called, football player Neymar not only kicked the ball to waste time, but also reached out his hand to help the player that fell and pulled it away just moments before he grabbed it. And well, Neymar's response was that football is becoming boring because everything is controversial, even jokes. Due to his religious beliefs, legendary boxer Muhammad Ali changed his name. And despite most people respecting that, one of his opponents kept calling him his former name Clay. And this ended up backfiring for him since, well, at the end of the day, he was going to face him in the ring. My name was Cassius Clay a few I years ago. I never told you my name was Cassius Clay. My name is Muhammad Ali, and you will announce it right there in the center of that ring after the fight if you don't do it now. I kept hitting him. I said, what's my He kept saying, Cassius Clay. In my round seven, I said, what's my name? He said, Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. <laughs> That's cool. Hard to believe that this actually happened at the Israeli Premier League, but two opponents made some flops that really didn't make any sense. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this disrespectful fighter got some well-deserved karma after he pushed the referee <laughs> for simply doing his job and protecting the fighter that tapped out. And well, even though he won, his mm. actions made him disqualified. Yeah. Mark Goddard was having none of that. Real Sociedad mascot was having some fun with the audience when mocking the famous CU celebration by Cristiano Ronaldo. When two 240-pound-plus heavyweights are going at it in the ring, there's not much an average-sized person can do. After Anthony Joshua landed a punch after the bell, Dillian White lost his cool, causing chaos in the ring. What um, Dylan White did there was real smart. He said it looks terrible, but it was smart because the referee gave him a solid minute at, at the beginning of the second. Sometimes even a small act of kindness can be greatly appreciated. Even though Floyd Mayweather is a controversial figure and has the reputation of being cocky at times, a disrespectful moment to see happened when he was invited for an exhibition fight in Japan, and a man gave flowers to his opponent cordially, but proceeded to throw flowers at Mayweather. I wonder what the backstory is. And well, he didn't appreciate the disrespect, and won by KO in the second round. After a group of players were showing unsportsmanlike behavior and wouldn't stop complaining, the referee justifiably lost his cool. In a clutch win versus the Pacers, LeBron James did a sort of harmless celebration, but it was still considered disrespectful, 
and he was fined $15,000. The shot clock, the shot clock was becoming an issue. Somehow this man got away using his hand in a soccer match. Okay, this is a controversial moment, but when a fighter thought the round was over but it actually wasn't, he just walked towards his corner and got knocked out in the process. And well, technically it was a legal victory, but some claimed it was a That's cheap been shot. That's clipped so many times over the past five years, but I think that you have to see the whole thing before making a judgment on it, because the guy who gets knocked out, Gregorian, he first gets hit with a knee and then he just turns around with two minutes and it says it here, 43 seconds left in the round. And if you look at the referee's face, even he's confused. So then he gets hit with that right hand. So he's knocked out. The other guy, Gronhart, goes to his corner and he gets attacked. Chaos ensued. The optics aren't good. And I've heard a lot of arguments as to why he might have turned. But that's professional kickboxing. They're taught to go until the bell rings or the ref stops the fight. So definitely more to this than the whole clip or the short clip that we just saw. I'll try to find it for you and link it in the bio, but if you're interested, the promotion is called Glory and that was Paris. Good sportsmanship here from both okay, this might have been more well. strange than anything, but Draymond Green tried pulling Jalen Brown's pants down after a foul. To Green's legs being on him as he fell. And then he tried to that's pull my pants move. down. I don't know what that was about, but you know, that's what Draymond Green does. During a badminton match, the French team started celebrating a little too hard by being loud. And this rubbed the Danish team the wrong way, and started doing it as well. And if punishing each other wasn't enough, every viewer at home was annoyed too. I can't say that I've ever seen badminton on TV. Wow. No, don't, don't, don't hit, please. Yeah, I mean, I, I understand your emotions, but please behave in sportsman section, okay? This might be a strange one, but during a volleyball game, USA versus Italy, one of the Italian players kept getting mad at the USA team when he kept missing the court. from Italy, trying to have a little word through the net. A bit of afters from Ivan Zaitsev, referee blowing the whistle, that's come. In sports, there are just some accidents that happen that is no one's fault. Crystal Dunn accidentally kicked the ball at Ellie Carpenter's face. And even though she said on an interview her first instinct was to go off on Dunn, that. calm heads prevailed and she understood it was an accident. Oh, and well, she took it really well considering this is a side-by-side -side of Neymar's reaction to someone touching his leg with the ball. The opponents, I have to say, absolutely vicious. He's trolling though, right? Clarence by Crystal Dunn. Someone let me know. During a football game, a very unusual moment happened when a team got a 15-yard penalty due to unsportsmanlike conduct from the coach. Unsportsmanlike conduct, head coach of Tampa Bay, 15-yard penalty. Wow. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Even though fans can get passionate during sporting events, there are times they take it a little too far and get disrespectful. After game four, a Celtics fan threw a water bottle at Kyrie Irving, and luckily he missed by an inch. This caused the fan to get escorted out of TD Garden. That is disrespectful. Later, the fan was charged with assault and battery by means of a dangerous weapon and faces up to five years in prison. No, that's excessive. The lawyers came out of that with a win. The 21 year old is accused of hurling a Dasani water bottle at Brooklyn. Luckily, oh, the player Dasani. was fine. But during a Northern Illinois and Toledo game, one of the players clearly did a late hit. Yeah, what the heck? Terrence Taylor. After a player sneakily disrespected one of his opponents, the ref gave him a justifiable yellow card. Mm. After winning a ping pong game, a player did what some would call an excessive celebration that was meant to sort of taunt his opponent. Oh, you go. <laughs> Apparently, consoling your opponent is not cool. Not sure if this can be considered disrespectful, but Drake got a little too excited talking to Steph Curry and Draymond Green and even caused the team's private jet to depart late. 
And well, the Warriors find Drake five hundred dollars. Oh, not Drake got on the plane that night with Draymond and Steph, and I find all three of them uh, for being late, and and Drake paid his five hundred dollar fine. I'm sure he did. I'm sure Drake, the multi multi millionaire, had problems paying that five hundred dollar fine. Okay, this was the second compilation we watched. Actually, no, it's not more than that, but. The channel's called CubeHub01. This one was a subscriber request. I haven't checked out the channel, so I don't know what else they have, but I'll link it down in the bio for you in case there are any other videos that interest you. If I had to pick the most disrespectful moment or moments, I would pick the ones that involve the ref because they're not in there to get hurt. And I don't have a literary recommendation for you today, no books on my mind, but... There's a ref for the UFC called Herb Dean, and he was on a podcast explaining what goes into being a referee so much more than I ever considered. I don't know if I recommended this to you in the past. I might have, but I'm going to find that podcast and link it down below for you. Other than that, leave your thoughts on any of this, and thanks for watching with me.